Hey guys, this is the Dutch Sandwich. I'm going to be reviewing a website called cladwellmen.com today. So cladwellmen.com is really a resource for guys to be able to answer some questions about themselves, like where you live, what are some like general things that you like to wear, and it basically kind of spits out some items that you really should have in your closet. And if you don't have them, it gives you some kind of inspirational places to buy them from, like a cheap place, a medium place, and a, and a more expensive place. So it, it was really cool, and I actually uh, took the quiz back in August when I was on vacation and then spent the last month or so kind of picking up a few pieces that I didn't have in my closet to kind of fill in those voids. So what I kind of want to do is just kind of go through what it spit out for me, um, my wardrobe, and then the specific pieces that I either had and checked off or that I bought and that I really like. So my unique style that it that it that it spit out for me is an urban dweller. So supposedly I care about expressing myself and want the clothes that I wear to feel truly authentic. I like to adopt trends into my wardrobe, but I favor a more eclectic look to maintain my individuality. I don't often need to dress up so my clothes can stay fairly informal. I'd say that's pretty spot on. I don't normally get to wear stuff like that that much because I do live in Florida. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool outfit. So it gives you some, uh, some tips, some things to avoid, uh, some identifying looks. This was what I was really interested in is my best colors. So you do enter in your hair color, your eye color, your skin, uh, skin tone, maybe something like that. I forget all the specifics. I mean, I took the quiz a couple months ago, but, um, light aqua, I could kind of see coming cause I've got blue eyes, but the, the other four colors were, were kind of surprising. I figured, I figured there'd be a couple blues, but purple was pretty pretty intriguing. That that was one of the colors it recommended me to to go for. Uh, and then you know camel golden brown or you know tans, I guess. Uh, and then the marigold was pretty was was kind of a surprise as well. But uh, this was I think one of my favorite parts to get is to kind of this color wheel. So like whatever you know, I'm thinking about buying in the future, kind of going back to maybe these five colors is kind of my core based on my, my, my coloring, I guess. So, um, I thought that was pretty cool, but, uh, you know, you'll have to enter in all your, your specific details and see what your particular color palette is. So let's go ahead and we'll get to the wardrobe. So let's see, uh, my list. So it says, welcome Dutch. Uh, glad to get you started. And, um, this is, this is basically it. So it starts with the shirts. Um, pretty basic here. The first four are t-shirts so we've got a white t-shirt i already had that my favorite uh white t-shirt light blue t-shirt and gray t-shirt were all from the same company i love the j crew factory slim crew neck pocket tees they're anywhere from between 12 and 15 dollars depending on if they're on sale or not i pretty much always have a couple of them in uh in my closet they last for a while they're not too thick so here in florida they keep me pretty cool and uh, I really like those. Can't can't really say enough good good things about them. Purple T-shirt. Uh, I I do have a purple T-shirt. It's from the Gap, uh, so I did check that off. But I ended up buying a short sleeve button up shirt, like so a little bit dressier of an option from Ex Officio. I got it on BatCountry.com, and uh, so that's I checked that off. The next two um, things here, or actually, I guess the. I think this is ends up being a short sleeve when you click on it. It says long sleeve, but a short sleeve blue button up and a white short sleeve button up. And that was, I think, one of the biggest things I adopted after getting this wardrobe was I kind of always thought of a short sleeve button up shirt as kind of like the the office space kind of Dunder Mifflin, just middle management, kind of just dweeby pocket protector, ill-fitting. I mean, I, I guess I could keep going on, but just that they're just, a, it's a stupid look, I guess, is what I kind of assumed. It, it just, I hated that, the thought of that look. But then after I saw that, like this spit it out, I was like, all right, well, maybe I'll at least look into it and see if there's one that maybe they've updated the fit or whatever. And they have, they're really cool. And I got a couple, uh, a couple of these short sleeve Oxfords from The Gap and they, they really do, they fit what well, they fit well. They look, they look pretty good. They're affordable, and uh, I think I got those for forty percent off. They were having a sale, so I ended up getting them for they were forty dollars retail. So I think I paid like twenty four or something like that. So yeah, the Gap has a great uh, ox short sleeve Oxford to check these off. I got a like a baby blue and a white 
and a pink one, um, even though the pink wasn't on here. The uh, gray button-up shirt, short sleeve, I got a, a Columbia. Normally, I Columbia and I do not get along. They're super boxy. Even a small doesn't fit my six foot one, 180 pound frame. It just feels like I'm swimming in it. But they've got a new kind of style, I guess, that's not super baggy. So I was able to get a medium. It was long enough. It wasn't too well, I wasn't swimming in it, so yeah, it, it worked out well. I, I think I wanted to kind of go through this whole wardrobe to start with, and then I'll do a follow-up video where I show you the specific shirts and, and all the other items in case you want to get them. So um, so yeah, that was the gray button-up white polo shirt. I love Land's End, just their standard, you know, not slim fit, nothing, just Land's End polo shirt, size medium, fits me well. I've got a fairly long torso, and so I need something that's uh, that's going to be long enough and and not kind of come untucked or, or show my stomach or anything like that. So gray sweatshirt, I checked that off. I didn't have to buy that. I had a, uh, I, I own a, uh, a Patagonia crew neck uh, sweatshirt that I love and I, I wear it a ton in the winter time here. Navy casual sweater. I already had a Victorinox sweater. It's it's 100% cotton. It's pretty casual. So I checked that off. I didn't have to buy that. A solid white dress shirt. I did not have a really good solid white dress shirt. I don't get dressed up much. So I did the the tailor store, I think, is where you enter your measurements and they get send you a shirt. And uh and I got that in. It's pretty it's pretty good. It's a little tight, uh, but I, I think it's probably the way it's supposed to fit. I'm just not used to wearing super, super slim clothes. But uh but yeah, tailor store for that, I think it was $54 from for my first shirt, and then for after that it goes up. Uh, pattern blue dress shirt, I already had one, uh, and a solid blue dress shirt, I already had one. I've got two shirts that I, I really love, Billy Reed dress shirts. They're, it's kind of a, an indulgence for me. I, I've, I think I've, I've bought them twice, and I always get them at full retail when I'm in Atlanta. And there's just something about them I love. They're made in America. They're, they're just they're built really well, and they seem like they're going to last a while, so I don't mind paying the I think they're like 150 bucks each. I mean, it's it's kind of a lot. So I luckily I already had those two and checked them off. But if I didn't have them, I probably would have gone the uh, the customer because I do I do think that Taylor store is pretty cool. But I may have just added an inch or something to, to the shoulder or the chest measurement to get that a little bit, give me a little bit more room in there. But uh, anyways, uh, gray dress sweater. I checked this off. I have a gr dark gray cardigan from uh, Fifth Avenue Boot Company, which I'm not really too familiar with. I don't. I just have the sweater. I don't really know, but I think I'm going to be looking into uh, Ministry of Supply a little bit. I, I really like some stuff that I've gotten from uh, Ministry. I guess it's called now just Ministry. It's not Ministry of Supply. So I'm going to look into some of their sweaters. They've got like a four-way stretch to them, and I, I think I'm going to kind of see if I can get another one from them. So yeah, so that was those were all the shirts there, 14 shirts. So that's kind of the core of the shirts. Now let's get to pants here. Navy shorts. I did not have a pair of Navy shorts. I picked up a pair of Bonobos 34 inch waist, seven inch inseam on eBay. I kind of like a short inseam if seven inches is short. I mean, I think they do make some with five inches, but for some reason I just kind of, I kind of like the seven inch. I feel like they're just cooler. I mean, it's so hot here in Florida. I just feel like having long baggy shorts is just hot and it's kind of sloppy. So I got a pair of Bonobo shorts. I love them. They're awesome. I keep looking on eBay for more uh, seven inch inseam Bonobos, but I haven't been able to find them. So if you can find some Bonobo shorts in your size, definitely pick up a pair. They're awesome. Uh, gray shorts. I did not have a pair of gray shorts. I found a, a seven inch inseam pair of Marmot uh, gray shorts on backcountry.com. And I think I paid about 30, 30 or 35 bucks for each of those. And I like them both. I, interestingly enough, they did not recommend a pair of khaki shorts. Uh, maybe maybe because my skin tone or because where I live. I mean, all that stuff plays into this. So, again, we're just kind of going by what they say. Uh, two, they recommend two pairs of dark blue jeans. I already had two pairs. I actually have a couple more than two. Uh, my favorite pair is my Alfred Dunhills. They're kind of, uh, I'm kind of into kind of into clothes. I don't know. I haven't got really gone too much into clothes or what I have or, or my history or whatever, but I've got a pair of Alfred Dunhill jeans from when Kim Jones used to work for him. And Kim Jones is the guy that now works for uh, Louis Vuitton. So it's, it's kind of a cool period of Alfred Dunhill to have a pair of jeans from. So that's my favorite pair of dark blue jeans. And then my second favorite pair is a pair of 
uh, Levi's uh, capital E's. So uh, they're a little bit slimmer fit, but the, I definitely had two pairs of those already. A pair of black jeans. I already have a pair of black jeans. They are Levi's. They're, they're awesome. They're affordable. I think they're the 514 maybe. I forget. But uh, we'll go through all these later on when I'm, when I'm down in the closet. A pair of tan chinos. I had a bunch. Didn't really like any of them. Kind of forced me to revisit this. I ended up picking up a pair from Ministry, and they're awesome. I watched the, the Alpha Alpha M video and, and found out about Ministry and ended up buying uh, some stuff from there because of his video. And they're awesome. They're they're so cool. They're they're a uh, really high tech kind of stretchy fabric. They're not cheap, but. Uh, you get them, you get them tailored, you show a picture of the, the tailoring receipt to them, and they give you a credit back in your account. I mean, they're a really cool company. So tan chinos I got from Ministry. I think they were like 100 bucks. Gray chinos I already had. I've got a bunch of pairs of the gapped live in, lived in slim chinos that I, I really like. And uh, so I checked that off. I didn't need those. And a pair of navy dress chinos. I also have a pair of navy of the gap lived in slim. So I checked that off. I think eventually I'd like to change these out for bonobos. I was so impressed with the pair with the pair of the bonobo shorts that I, I bought on eBay that I'd love to be able to get the same style or same material in the in the in the long pants. The the way the buttons are, they have like a unique closure system so really there's no button to break. It's just a metal kind of closure thing. I don't know. It's cool. They're, they know what they're doing. Four shoes. Uh, let's see. Gray street shoes. I did not have a pair of gray street shoes, so I bought a pair of Billy Reed K-Swiss collaborative shoes on eBay. They were like 100 bucks. They kind of look like Adidas superstars, but they've got a gray pebbled leather to them, and they are, uh, sl they're slip-ons with no laces, but they've got the eyelets open. They're, they're cool. And a pair of brown casual leather shoes. I've got a pair of Cole Haan Air Gunnison's. They're like driving moccasins with the hidden Nike Air in the sole. I wear those a lot. I already had those, so I, I checked that off. A pair of black casual leather shoes. I've got a pair of of black leather chukka boots that I own that I kind of consider my black casual leather shoes, so I did check that off. And then a pair of brown uh, dress shoes. I have a pair of Cole Haan, again with the Air in the sole, uh, Oxford shoes that I, that I already own. So I checked that one off too. So I only needed to buy one pair of shoes. Jackets, a blue casual jacket. I've got a great Stephen Allen jacket. So I checked this one off. It's like a blue casual uh, thing. It's it's a dark blue. And then a navy, a navy jacket. Uh, I have a, a blue blazer from uh from Billy Reed. So I checked that one off. Let's go to accessories. Brown casual belt. Um I have a, a believe it or not, an Abercrombie and Fitch leather belt that I've owned since I was 14. So that's 16 years and it's still running strong. So Definitely don't need a brown casual belt. That thing's still still awesome. A brown dress belt and a black dress belt. I didn't really have either. Um, and I ended up, again, going off Alpha M's tip. I tried the Anson belts. And they're, they're pretty cool. And so I got a brown one and a black one. I'm going to do a separate review on, on the Anson belts because there's some some things I definitely would, would recommend staying away from with them. Overall, I like them a lot. I would, I would definitely recommend them. But there's some subtleties to it. I think that you can definitely pick some that are are a little bit more durable than the other ones. So we'll get into that more later, but I went with Anson for those two and then was able to check those off. I already owned a blue tie. I already owned a red tie. Uh, I've kind of done a bunch of watch videos before. If you haven't seen my other videos, it, it said a brown casual watch. I just, you know, I, I can put pretty much any of my watches on a brown a brown leather band. So that was, that was checked off. And a pair of brown sunglasses. I have some, but this forced me to revisit my sunglass collection. And I did buy a pair of, Carrera sunglasses that were tortoise colored. So uh, I did check that off after I bought those. Three suits and blazers, uh, tan casual blazer. I have a J. Crew, J. Crew tan linen suit that I already own. So I checked that off and, as a tan casual blazer. A navy blazer. I kind of counted that, that, uh, that, that jacket I mentioned before from Billy Reed as my navy blazer. I really like that. I already own that. And a dark gray suit. I have a theory suit that I bought in New York a couple years ago that was my uh, dark gray suit. So that was already checked off too. So overall, I didn't have to buy too much stuff. It was just kind of fun to go through here and uh, and kind of see what they recommended. And I won't get into all this stuff because I don't want to give away all their secrets. But you, you do if you click on something, it kind of tells you why they picked it and, and what to pair it with. So there's definitely some helpful stuff to... Uh, 
to get if, with your subscription here. It was 21 bucks for a three month subscription to give you enough time to kind of add all this stuff to your to your wardrobe and go through and check stuff off and and again you can click on stuff if you don't if you don't have it and they'll give you suggestions on where to get some cool stuff that they think they think would fit that fit the bill for you so um thank you guys for for sticking around and this was kind of a long-winded video but i really do like this service i think it's it's beneficial even for i consider myself to have a fairly good wardrobe really really you know comprehensive wardrobe this was i think really really cool to kind of boil it down to some basics that you can always come back to that they'll give you some advice to kind of pair it up with other things within this set of stuff um and yeah just kind of a constant reminder of what are what are some things that are good for you where you live and your skin tone eye color hair color all that stuff so definitely give it a shot guys it's it's fun for 21 bucks it'll kind of it'll kind of help steer you in a direction that uh maybe you should should go for your wardrobe so thank you guys for watching and uh st stay tuned for another video where i follow up on all the specifics and show you some of these items from my closet all right see you in the next video